Today's question is, after you lived through a terrible marriage and a bad divorce, did you ever think of writing a book about it and changing the names and locations so that your ex does not sue you in court? That's a good question. In my opinion, I'm sure there are hundreds of thousands of people who are divorced or going through a divorce who have thought of writing a book about it. The question is, who would the book be for? For you? To help you process and deal with the experience? If you wrote a book or journal for that purpose, and one which you scrupulously keep private, no one can fault you for that. What about writing it for others, either to help them process and deal with the experience? If you wrote a book, and changed the names and descriptions of events and circumstances sufficiently that you don't expose yourself to a libel suit in the process, and you wrote the book to help others learn from your story and deal better with their own divorces as a result, that's noble. A book or blog may be a good thing in that regard. Or are you thinking of writing the book for revenge? Eh, go ahead, write it all down, warts and all, and without any filters. The purge may do you some cathartic good. It may help you put the whole thing in perspective as you prepare to face the future. Just don't show it to anyone. Do not publish it. Burn it when you're done writing it. You don't need that around anymore once you've vented your spleen. And if it falls into the wrong hands, you're risking a defamation suit. If you have thought of writing a book to try to make lemonade from lemons that divorce handed you by making some money from the sales of the book, odds are that too few people would buy the book to make it profitable. That would be a lot of work for something that isn't likely to compensate you, at least financially, for all the time and effort and reliving of the pain.